All right, look, it's been a minute since I did one of these and this is real tough. So I'm not gonna sit here and go through a whole bunch of fluff and all kind of stuff and bore you with a whole lot of details. But today, the release of the information of the release of the Ama Mier Jordan 5 just came out. Ama Mier just put out a whole bunch of stuff about the release details on the white pair, which is I believe called the Don. The reason why I'm doing this, I just wanted to show you my thought process when I go through and think about these shoe releases and certain things. Sometimes when I get ready to buy a shoe or when I'm thinking about buy a shoe and I just take everything in consideration. Oh, if you don't know by now, I'm Tori AKT with Drip TV. I appreciate everyone's been tuning to the channel, subscribing to the channel, liking the channel, um, becoming part of the Drip Squad fam. Again, I just keep everything real. I keep being me and I'm not gonna sit here and try to you know, be somebody that I'm not. But back to the shoe real quick and what I'm thinking. They just released all the details on the white pair, which is the Dawn pair, like I said. Um, that should be releasing on, I believe it's uh, November 17th. Uh, I think they said that they're gonna have three ways that you can enter the launch, but one they forgot that I'm gonna mention real quick. They got the general draw, which is on, I'm on your site, social status, APB, you can enter into the draw, and that's one of the main concerns or the main reasons why I kinda wanted to do this. The second is like local priority access. You can go in the store and confirm your uh, online draw in any of the stores if you're like in the I'm, I'm you know close to I'm, I'm your, uh Atlanta DC I think Houston uh, Charlotte or North Carolina some other places like that so you can go in there and do that and then they got the online launch which is November 17th at 80, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time those are the three ways now the one that they didn't mention is the discord if you have discord or if you're uh you know have the discord app discord server or join the discord they have a two minute draw or excuse me they have a two minute raffle that they do that you can enter through the discord so that's another way that you can do it too but you have to be very quick with it and you have to put a password in it too that comes through the uh, discord when it pops up now i've only won once off of that and uh, i think it was i can't remember which one it's for anyway so not to say that you can't do it but that's just another way if you're thinking about it. real quick i know you guys see back in the background og jumpman bostic he has like 96,000 subscribers um he doesn't even know i'm saying this but og been in the city game a long time he's a great guy period great individual wealth of knowledge based with the jays go subscribe to his channel get him to 100,000 so he can get that plaque okay you know it, it, it's about support just a great guy genuine guy a real person and uh you know he's one of those that's just you know just a real individual nowadays just period not even just dealing with sneakers but just a real individual period but go subscribe to his channel tell your friends tell a friend tell a friend go subscribe to your channel give him to 100,000 so he can get that 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 uh that silver play button um for the 100 100k and stuff everything but back to the shoes real quick this is my thought process when i think about shoes now you can enter on Amamier for the raffle. Now it's done through EQ, EQL and I think Runfair. So the thing of it is, if you look at the price and you look at what they're doing with that, you enter it, they show you the price. I think it's 225 plus the shipping charges, plus you got the taxes that will be applied if you win. And then there's a $5.64 Runfair EQL fee. Now, Two scenarios that I'm thinking of on that, just to show you guys how my thought process goes. One, they said that the EQL runfair fee uh, is only charged if you win the shoe. Just think about it like this. Let's think about if you, if there's 50,000 units that they sell, and I don't know what the exact numbers are, but just think about it like this. I think about crazy stuff like this. There's 50,000 pairs of shoes that they're gonna release. They do an EQL fee, of five dollars and sixty four cent and you multiply that that's two hundred and eighty two thousand dollars that they made just off of that five dollar and sixty four cent eql fee let's say that like i said earlier they're only going to charge you that's what they said on there if you win the shoes that five dollars sixty four cent let's just say for giggles that they did that fee and they had like say two hundred thousand entries and they charge everybody who entered in that five dollars and sixty four cent they're racking up 1.1 million dollars on that just think about crazy stuff like that i know i'm on the year probably business practice they may be getting charged by eql or the run fair for that so they're putting the cost back on us 
But at the same time too, when you start adding that price up for the shoe, 225 plus the shipping probably is gonna be like $20, plus the ta tax is probably gonna be close to anywhere between 15 to $20, somewhere around there maybe. And then you got that EQL fee. Depending upon where you live at, if you live in a no tax state, great, awesome. If you don't, you live somewhere like myself in California, where they charge you an arm and a leg and some toes and some teeth for uh, taxes, then you're probably gonna get tax heavy. So you're looking at anywhere between 250, 260, 270, 275, maybe possibly for these shoes. Is it worth it? That's the question you have to ask for yourself. Again, those are some of the crazy stuff, or it's not crazy, but I go through all of that and I think about that sometimes when I enter in a raffle or when a shoe releases, is it worth it for me? I don't think about the resale value. I don't think about me trying to sell it. A lot of people might think like that. Well, I'm gonna sell it, Just that's fine and good. But as a as general sneaker head, sneaker connoisseur, sneaker enthusiast, I'm thinking like, is it worth my money doing it like this? Because for me, if you guys been on my channel long enough to know, I always tell you, I do not pay resale for shoes. I don't have anything against anybody that pays resale for shoes. But me personally, I adopted it a long time ago. It's retail a bus, and that's it. Nothing against nobody who does. And I applaud you, and I don't mind. That's your money. You spend it how you want to spend it. I choose not to go the resale route. But that's me. Those are some of the things I think about. I know this is kind of off the topic, but all the information, I kind of try to throw some of the stuff on the screen about the shoes, about the release date. Hopefully that's gonna help. They're gonna give the information for the black pair, which I personally like the black pair more than the white pair, but that's just me to each his own, different preferences for everybody, and that's the good thing about sneakers. But that's just some of the stuff that I think about. So real talk, is it worth your money to buy those shoes and do that? I'm like, it depends. You have to assess that for yourself. Is it gonna be worth you? Be like, all right, I'm gonna try and get these shoes for that. Yeah, the resale value right now, I think I looked it up, it, you know, is it, over a thousand dollars on the white pair. And I think the black pair may be ranging five, six, seven hundred dollars or whatever. But of course, that price goes down. But just giving you guys some food for thought, letting you know what's going to happen here in the next few days. So if you're trying to, you know, get these shoes, make sure you do those things and check out I'm on the air for the raffle details. And again, like I said, Discord, they do a raffle through that as well. So, but it's only two minutes and you have to get in. If not, they'll keep doing it randomly throughout the day on certain days, every day. And you just never know when, but be a part of that and you'll be able to do it again. I appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about the, the Jordan 5 I'm on the years. If you're going to be going for them, I skipped the 12s. Um, I have uh, the rest of them, but I didn't like the 12s. That's just me personally. So um, nothing wrong with that. Again, sneakers are subjective. We like what we like, we buy what we want to buy. But again, let me know if you're going to be going for either of these pair of shoes, which ones you like the most, um, and uh, what you think about that. Again, I appreciate all the support. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. Remember, stay blessed. See you in the next video, and you're never too old to dream.